It started 20 years ago for the POWs, MIAs, Run to the Wall, and my husband and I do it because my husband was a Vietnam vet and he's done it three years. I started in 04 and 05. I've done it once. This is my second time. But for me, it's also more for just all of the veterans. Our daughter is in the military as well and has been deployed to Iraq and is deploying again. So for me, it's for all of the veterans. For a lot of people, it's for Vietnam and for the, the POWs, the MIAs. To come through and see the people standing on the bridges with the flags and waving and, and cheering, it is extremely heartwarming to know that there are Americans who care, you know, to, to, to support this. It's wonderful. What, what makes you want to do this every year? Patriotism. It's, uh, it's a real emotional thing. It's hard okay. to keep tears out here. Right a lot of times you come into the town, and, you know, like we're coming through town here today. What a, what a, I don't know, what's going on here. And also as a Vietnam vet, and actually it was in 2001, when I was on this ride, it was the first time anybody ever said to me, off the boat. I was angry for 25 years, and I met a group of men three years ago that had founded and put together Operation Wounded Warrior out of Florence, Arizona. And I finally saw, saw something that seemed important enough to put me in anger. My wife said for the best three years uh, in our marriage. I probably would have been angry and started doing things when I ride with uh, Patriot Guard riders and Operation Wounded Warrior.